Got a broken satellite or space telescope? Needs to be fixed. You know where we are. And all for about the same cost as remodeling your kitchen. STS 41 C. The flight had two primary objectives. The first was to deploy the huge long duration exposure facility. The second objective was to capture, repair, and redeploy the malfunctioning Solar Maxim mission satellite, Solar Max. On the third day of the mission, Challenger's orbit was raised to about 300 miles and it maneuvered to within 200 feet of Solar Max. The mission specialists were James D. Van Hoften, Terry J. Hart, and George D. Nelson. Nelson using the MMU, the Manual Maneuvering Unit flew out to the satellite and attempted to grasp it with a special capture tool called the Trunnion Pin Acquisition Device, TPAD. Three attempts to clamp the TPAD onto the satellite failed. It began tumbling when Van Hoften attempted to grasp it with the RMS arm and the effort was called off. Center, Greenbelt, Maryland, was able to establish control over the satellite by sending commands ordering the magnetic torque bars to stabilize the tumbling action. This was successful and the Solar Max went into a slow, regular spin. The next day, Nelson and Van Hoften tried to capture it again. This time, they succeeded on the first try. They placed the Solar Max on a special cradle in the payload bay using the RMS. They then began the repair operation replacing the satellite's attitude control mechanism and the main electronic system of the coronagraph instrument. Solar Max was redeployed back onto orbit the next day thus ending one of the most unique rescue and repair missions in the history of the space program.